lie to say that the, the organ is this holy, grandiose, majestic, or funerial instrument. It's those things, but it's so much more. It's so dynamic and lascivious and banal and violent and uh, passionate. And you know, of course, I mean, it, when I say it is those things, what I mean is it's it's a channel for those things. No organ is actually expressive at all. It's the, the expression that occurs with its meeting with the person. Well, I'm a musician. I'm an artist. Um, I play the organ, all kinds of organs, mostly pipe organs, digital organs, classical organs. I also play the Hammond organ. Um, I, I started a lot of music when I was extremely young. I started the organ and the piano when I was four. And I was also a boy soprano. And when I was 11, I went off to boarding school um, at the American Boy Choir School in Princeton. Um, this piece that I was commissioned to write, Der Skandal, The Scandal, a big piece for organ and orchestra. Um, I left New York in such a state of confusion and upheaval, um, and yet even amongst the, mid the upheaval of moving to Berlin, um, you know, with my cat in a cat-carrying case, um, I sat down and wrote the thing in a month and a half, and that completely has redefined my ideas about my own mm -hmm. potential. Um, it's, it's just a very renewing experience to be tested and to have to, to really test your talents is, is something that I think is a kind of rare experience for a lot of people. Well, clothing for me, much like the choice of what music to play, has a lot to do with mood and with um, whim, really. And um, so I have a really broad and diverse, um, at least in my thinking, uh, range of looks. This, this is more of a typical, um, you know, day-to-day -day look in, in winter in Berlin. We already have, you know, a foot of snow on the ground. In addition to which, when I move, it, you know, it has this great sort of range of motion. And um, it's a little bit Russian, a little bit monkish, a little bit androgynous somehow. There's something of the skirt mm -hmm. about it. I really mm -hmm. like that. With cashmere tweed and wool and these exquisite um, hand-faceted buttons, which are from Poland. This coat is one of my cherished possessions. Um, these gloves are from Oak, and I play in them. I always wear them when I play, and when I perform. Because I consider it, uh, you know, uh, uh, an, it's something that I can use to further my performance, particularly on stage. It, it happens that what I'm wearing right now is what I've started wearing on the second half of my concerts. Um, and it's something that I really find people respond to and I enjoy greatly wearing it. And then this, this um, hat is Arctic Fox and it is uh, a purchase from Moscow. But it has the tail still attached, so the tail's great. I mean, you can tuck it in or you can, you can have it out. You can have it to the side, of course. These, these concerts are better attended than any organ concerts in, in the histories of these halls. And it's partly because of the publicity. It's partly because of what I'm, um, you know, what I'm playing, and and it's also because of the looks and the different things. But consequently, it is a really interesting mix of people. There's a typical classical music audience, and there's a younger demographic, and there's a group of people who just, you know, don't typically go to classical music. But it is interesting to see that there's, you know, groups of people coming together that might not otherwise. I sort of am totally dedicated to building a career that re-envisions the organ as the ecstatic um, experience that it, that it can be. I have a real sense that there's something that happens between me and it that is much, much more than simply playing. I never liked the word playing because it seems to, to imply something casual.